Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you the tutorials that are in Scratch 3.0. So in the older version of Scratch, you could go up to this question mark right here, or go to the tips section, and you can open up this menu. So in this menu, it has some pretty cool guides, it has some how to do stuff, and it's got some information on different blocks. Like if you wanted to find out, well, what does play sound block do? Then you could go there. Now in Scratch 3.0, it doesn't have that little menu on the side, but it does have this button up here that says tutorials. So when you click on this, it pulls up this menu. And just like with the sprites and the sounds, you can search for tutorials and you can click on different categories. But what's neat about this is when you click on one, like let's say animate an adventure game, which sounds like it'd be pretty cool. What it'll actually do is it will actually load in sometimes some new sprites for you, some new backdrops and other stuff that are related to this tutorial. So as Whereas before, in the older version of Scratch, when you would click on a tutorial, it would simply tell you what to do and give you a list of steps, but you would actually have to find all these sprites. So in this version, it gives you everything that you need to do that tutorial. Now it starts with a little video that you can watch and you simply can click on these arrows and it'll move through showing you the different steps of some cool things that you can do. Now what's really neat about this is in this version of um, Scratch, in Scratch 3.0, you can actually move this around. So it no longer has to cover up your code like in the older version of Scratch. Like let's say you were on a very small screen, this over here might actually cover up some of your code. So what's cool about in Scratch 3.0 is you can move this wherever you would like to and you can close it whenever you feel like it and then bring it back up by going back into the tutorial section. Now, one of the things that they don't have in the current version of Scratch 3.0 is they don't have um, this block feature. So like, whereas before you could go and click on block help and then click here and then tell you what this move block does. In Scratch 3.0, it doesn't have that little question mark right here. And when you right click on something, it doesn't actually do anything. So you can't like say, hey, tell me what this block is. So maybe that's a feature that they're, at, that they're going to add in the future. But for right now, you can only use the tutorials that are up here. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.